Hey carnivores, it's the holy grail of lamb, leg of lamb, and today I'm gonna to be smoking it on the big green egg. I'm gonna show you how to season it, I'm gonna show you how to control the flavor so that you don't end up with a gamey lamb after a long smoke. Stick around, I'll show you every step of the way. Okay, let's jump right in. This is an Australian leg of lamb. Uh, you guys probably know I source my lamb from D'Artagnan because I really like the products that I get from them, but you can get this probably from your local butcher, lots of sources. If you want to get one from D'Artagnan like I do, there'll be a link down in the description, but let's uh, go ahead and get started on trimming. Okay, when you get a whole leg of lamb, there are three parts. So I'll turn it over here so you can see. Here, there's a little bit of the shoulder that's left over and attached. Here's the top of the femur, right? Here's the thigh area. There's a knee under here. And then, of course, the lower leg. So we're gonna trim this down uh, so that it's just the uh, leg. So I'm gonna take the hip off here and I'm gonna use this later for uh, lamb sausage. We're not gonna need that here. And I'm just gonna trim some of the loose hanging fat there's really not any silver skin to worry about here. Now, normally on big pieces of meat, we're trimming the fat cap away. And the reason we're not here is because this is gonna be a long, slow smoke and lamb, as you know, is lean. And so we're gonna want this fat to render and enhance the flavor of our lamb. And then the final thing we're gonna do here is called Frenching. Now, uh, you've seen this on racks of lamb and, and lamb chops before, uh, sometimes even pork chops. But this meat down here that is uh, really thin, this is going to overcook anyway. So I'm not going to take it off now, but I'm going to make it easy to take it off later because I'm going to cut all the way down to the bone. I'm going to come all the way around so that after this cooks, it's going to slide right off. And then that's gonna be kind of a handle we're gonna use for presentation. The reason I'm not taking it off now is because I don't really want the smoke on there. Since we're doing it for presentation, I want that nice white bone. And so the meat will protect it. And that meat's not gonna be something that we're gonna wanna eat afterwards because it's gonna be overcooked. So I'm not gonna bother trimming it. Okay, so our next step is to score the fat cap. So remember we said we wanted this to render. If you've watched the uh, lamb shoulder video that everybody seems to like, uh, the most popular video on the channel, you see that I scored the fat cap and the fat rendered. So we're gonna do the same thing here. So I'm just gonna make cuts right down. I wanna expose the meat, but I don't wanna get too far into the meat. And I'm just gonna make a diamond pattern here. All right. So that's gonna help the fat render really nicely. So now I'm actually going to make kind of small stabs in the slits here because we're gonna stuff some herbs and spices in here that are gonna help get some flavor all the way into the lamb. Okay, the first thing we're gonna be working with is garlic. So we wanna cut these garlic cloves just in half. And it's not really about size, but I want to expose the inside of the garlic so that some of that garlic oil can get out into the meat. So all I'm doing is a quick slice. Okay, next I'm going to be working with ginger. I'm going to want to just take the skin off the bottom part of this ginger here. And then I'm going to make some just ginger sliver. So I'm just going to kind of julienne this. Okay, and then finally, I've got some fresh rosemary. Is this the most beautiful rosemary that you guys have ever seen? Because I am pretty impressed with it. So I'm just gonna cut this into about inch and a half or two inch long pieces. And you're gonna see what we do with these in a couple minutes. But unlike usually, I'm actually gonna try to save the stems here because they're gonna be actually pretty helpful. Okay, I told you I was gonna show you how to control the gaminess of lamb. So. If you've watched previous videos, you know that the gaminess comes from oxidation. So the, uh, the meat itself is not gamey. It's just a matter of these kinds of fats are particularly vulnerable to being uh, exposed to oxygen for a long time. So what we're gonna do, since it's gonna be on the grill for a long time, is we're actually going to cover this in mustard. Mustard is an antioxidant, and this is gonna help control how that flavor develops. It's also gonna act as a great binder for us. 
The other nice thing about mustard is that it's this nice bright yellow color, so I can tell just by looking at it whether I've missed any spots. So here on the underside, all I'm gonna be doing is a basic seasoning. This is SPG seasoning, salt, pepper, and garlic. It's two parts pepper to one part kosher salt and one part garlic. And so I'm just gonna get a good coating of my SPG. Okay, now I'm gonna turn the lamb over, and here we've got the scored side. So in the scored side, uh, I'm gonna do a little bit more. So I'm, I'm still gonna be using mustard, because again, the fat is what oxidizes, so we wanna keep that from oxidizing. And let's start with a little bit of SPG on here. Okay, maybe not a little bit, maybe a lot of SPG. All right, now I'm just gonna pat this down. I know we call this a rub, but we really don't wanna rub it. We just wanna press it down so that it sticks. Okay, so let's go ahead and stuff our garlic and our ginger into some of these holes. And remember that rosemary that we cut up? We're literally just gonna stud with rosemary and this flavor is gonna get infused into the meat. The fat's gonna render and pull it down in, but also rosemary is another antioxidant. Okay, it's time to get some smoke on this thing. I'll meet you at the grill. Hey guys, welcome back to the backyard. If you've been here before, you know Darth, our extra large big green egg. So Darth is running at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. He's burning Fogo Super Premium Hardwood Charcoal, which is the bigger chunks that I like to use with my longer smokes. Also, I'm using a couple of chunks. I got three chunks in there of plum wood. And the flavor of the plum smoke is really gonna go really well with the ginger and garlic and rosemary we've got on the leg of lamb. So we should get a really interesting flavor profile. So let's go ahead and get the leg of lamb uh, smoking now so we can get some smoke. Now I'm actually gonna be putting in a thermometer uh, right into the thickest part of the lamb. So this is a probe that goes with the thermal work signals so that I can monitor on my phone the temperature of the lamb. Now it's not gonna be an issue for a couple of hours, but this way I can keep track of what's going on with the smoke. Shut. Okay, at 250 degrees, this is gonna be a long smoke. It's probably gonna be five hours, six hours, but we're gonna be back here about every hour and we're gonna spritz this thing with apple cider vinegar and apple juice and just keep it moist and you'll be able to watch the progress as we go. So while I will be back in an hour, you'll be back in about four seconds. See you in a minute. Okay guys, the lamb's been on for about an hour. It's at about 92 degrees Fahrenheit internal temperature, so coming along nicely. I'm uh, gonna give it a quick spritz with a third apple cider vinegar and two thirds apple juice. And let's, uh, let's take a look. I can't wait to see what this looks like.
Okay guys, we're done spritzing. It looks really good as you saw. It's gonna be another probably four hours or so while we're uh, cook smoking on the grill. So I'll be back a couple of times to spritz it, but I'll see you when we're done. Hey guys, after only three hours, our lamb is already ready. So, you know, with a smaller piece of lamb that might happen and you know, every piece of meat is different. So don't be surprised at it. So let's go see what it looks like and we're gonna get it off and rest. Now I'm gonna wrap it in foil and, uh, and then put it in a blanket in a cooler and we're gonna let it rest for an hour. That's probably the hardest part of making big cuts of meat like this is letting them rest so long. But you guys uh, won't have to wait that long. I'll see you inside where we slice and plate and then we get to taste it. I'll see you inside. Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. I hope you guys remember Leah, my nine-year-old daughter. Say hi, Leah. Hi. So today we're gonna taste. Now, Leah, you haven't had this before. You've had lamb shoulder, you've had lamb shoulder chops, you've had lamb rack of lamb and lamb loin chops, you've had lamb neck. Do you think we're doing too much lamb? No, I don't think there's too much <laughs> lamb. You know why? Because we have a whole bunch of viewers that like lamb. They're our most popular videos. As a matter of fact, 20% of our viewers are from Australia and New Zealand. And so, I know they like this stuff and this is an Australian lamb. So, you ready to give this a taste and do the, your MTY scientific analysis? Yeah. All right, so which piece is gonna be for you? That's a big one. This one looks really good. This one's for you guys. So, uh, you guys enjoy that one. And uh, I'm, gonna take, uh, I'm gonna take a bite of this one right here. Are we ready? I just broke mine down and then I kept it on. Okay, that was smart. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's great. Nailed it again, didn't I? Okay, so MTY, moist, tender, yummy. M, moist. Mm -hmm. Definitely got the moist. Okay, T, tender. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit chewy, but lamb's gonna be a little chewy. Yeah. All right, so for, for the yummy, like, is it gamey? Does it taste a little weird, or is it just really good full flavor? It tastes exactly like I want it. Okay, that's a good answer. So the mustard worked, we controlled the gaminess. I think this flavor profile is a good one. I hope you guys will try this. If you like this video, I want you to check out this one right here where I did a smoked lamb shoulder, best way to smoke a lamb shoulder, and this one right here where I did rack of lamb as a collaboration with Legome Eats. And we will see you very soon on Eat More Vegans.